We're not, we're gonna ignore it. We're gonna ignore that. Let me check Miss Pamela if we're live. I don't even see that it says we're live. They might have lied. Not what? We're not yeah. We're waiting. We're waiting on Carolina Princess. We're waiting. No, not. Waiting on me. If they waiting on me, they backing up. We're so waiting. I think Cindy. I think like Cindy in the chat. Yeah. So we got to be in the right place. It says 4.30. That's not us. Let's see what we done did wrong. What did I do wrong? I don't know, baby. Good night, Let's sweetheart. Say? No, we're on. We're on. We're on. I'm on. I don't know what we're on. Where do you say I found that? Look at her. Well, what the heck? What is going on with mine? I don't know. We don't even know. How. We're supposed to do something. We can't even do nothing around here. We're here. So if y'all are here, let me know that you're here. I saw Cindy popped in the chat a minute ago. Um, we don't even know if we're live yet. Kelly says we're on. Thank you, Kelly. Thanks, baby. Thank hey, look, so much. Oh, Kelly. Now. now, Kelly, you ain't driving and listening, are you? Don't type yes, when you. Yes, yes, yeah. Wait, go ahead. Wait, stoplight. wait till you're at the stoplight. Claudia is here. Thank you, Claudia, for letting hey, us Claudia. know that you're here. Oh, um, Cindy said, I'm here and you're live. I'm here and you're live. Hi, Cindy. Hey, Amy, how are you? Cindy, it's not long till you get here. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I know. I'm so jealous. Ooh, she's coming and I can't stand it. I can't wait on her. I know. She she gets to just up and go. She got, Honey, she's a roadrunner. They she, ain't no moss growing on her tail. I can tell you that right now. And it, and she's not going to ask, you know, she's in an adult timeout, right, Miss Pamela? I'm putting myself in an adult timeout on the free state. <laughs> I have some good house guests coming in here. I have some good ones. She said you're going to have a very busy month. I know it. I know it. It's so, fun, though. I like it that way. Yeah. I like being busy. Hey, Claudia. Now, wait, Miss Pamela, you got the captain of the winning team tonight underneath your thing. What's that about? Oh, dear God, I keep forgetting to take that off of there. That's the last time we played Jeopardy on my channel. But I had to do it on StreamYard. <laughs> and I wanted everybody to know who was going to win that night. And so, like a butthole, I put that underneath my name. And I Dolores, Dolores changes hers all the time just to see if I'll notice. She puts, notice. She, she puts like random stuff on the little, on the place where we got the, she'll put some random stuff like best cat mom ever or it just notice. Well, and I barely know this. Look at me glitching already. Where, girl, look, where'd you go? look what she said. She said, don't you let Gabby buy all the good stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm taking y'all to different places, baby. You ain't got to even worry about that. Now, I don't know. That StreamYard did that to me last time. It was, um, and it's StreamYard because it doesn't glitch over here. It glitches on StreamYard. It glitched so, on my phone. Well, I mean, oh, you'll. That's StreamYard. That's StreamYard. Yeah. I gotcha. Yeah, that, that's StreamYard. So, yeah, I, I say I'm coming out there, but, you know, I'm going to do the big trip first because, you know, in case I expire, I could probably get. To Alabama faster than I could get to the UK, so oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll go to the UK first, and then you know. That. I've got your reasoning behind that. Yeah, and I'm gonna go. It's gonna. We're gonna be gone for. I'm gonna go for ten days, and I think her friend, her best friend from high school that she stays with here, she's gonna go with me. <gasps> so how fun! And I just bombard Dolores. With just now, are y'all staying with Dolores or are you staying somewhere else? You're gonna stay with her too. That's gonna be so much fun. Her husband will be ready to fall on a knife somewhere. Don't you know he'll? Don't you know he's gonna find some yonder somewhere? He'll be like, "What? Deliver me, sweet Jesus!" So he he'll be in the mix of everything because he loves that he is. Oh my gosh, he's so funny. Dave is like a comedian, so he likes to like be in the mix of everything. So yeah. He'll 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 be driving us places and taking us places and doing all kind of stuff. He's he's a How good one. Fun. 
Oh, look, Nettie said, I'm glad to find something to watch while I put my laundry away. Well, I'm glad we can be here for you, Nettie, you sweet angel. We're here for you, girl. You just get to, you get them drawers put up. Well, Sunday, that's what I do because I fold my laundry, do laundry on Sunday. So, and package an invoice. So that's when I watch um, mm. the most, the most. It's getting, it's getting sunshine time, y'all. I got to get outside on the weekend. I watch, I watch a lot on Sundays and Mondays too. That's when I watch most of mine because I'll be, I'm, I'm here and I'm not running around because I have to be here and I have to be focused on stuff. So <clears throat> I got my, one of my phones out there in the shipping part watching and then i got another in here in the living room got it on the tv so i'll switch back and forth. hi karen there's he miss helen and miss karen oh Come hi here. helen i didn't see you baby so we're super excited when they turned it on y'all they i i knew that my i was on and you know if you've ever been on stream yard when somebody comes in they can see and hear everything that's going on you just can't see and hear them so uh <laughs> Miss Pamela and Kelly Michelle were in the background just killing themselves laughing at listening. And I was dropping stuff and going through stuff and throwing stuff around. Shelly said she kept, she got home early and look who is on. Too oh, hi, hey, Shelly. Hey, Miss Helen, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to be on with y'all Monday night. Now, uh, I think Sabrina is going to sit. I mean, Sabrina, Lordy mercy, Jesus. I think Steph's going to send me the link. The stream yard link but i'm okay. not gonna be working i'm gonna be jewelry and i'm gonna be making some jewelry so uh -huh. i'll be on like monday or friday uh, monday night okay monday night monday night that's the day after easter i don't know what time she just told me in a chat a while ago well good good good, so good. I'll, be, I'll behave myself and be good maybe that come on now come on now. that's right come on now the that I just don't know how to act seeing everybody in the middle of the week. It's just, that's just fun to me now. You know, it's kind of like playing bookie. Being in the middle of the week. Yeah, well, because see, I keep thinking today's Friday because we're off tomorrow. So I literally, I make the announcements. I just missed everybody. She says 7 p.m., Miss Pam, Eastern. 7 p.m. Eastern. So that's that's right, that down. 6 p.m. Central Monday night. Okay, got it, baby. So, yeah, I, I've tried to dismiss everybody today, letting them know that it was Friday. And they were like, no, it's Thursday. And I said, oops, my bad. It's my Friday, y'all. As I try, Kids are like, uh, no, Miss B, it's Friday. It's Thursday. I said, y'all, it's my Friday because we're off tomorrow and we're off Monday. So then there's that. I didn't even ask Kelly if she's off. Did she say she was off? Hey, Jennifer, how are you? Um, I don't know. Some people have Good Friday, but not Monday. And then some people have Easter Monday, but not Good Friday. I don't know. We get both. Either way, I'm not going. Either way, you ain't going to be there. It don't matter. Don't look for me. I'm going to be in an adult timeout. <laughs> I will be at the beach tomorrow. I said short of there being a major catastrophe where something blows up the road between here and Jamaica Beach, then I'm going to be on that beach. Oh, John Robert, that kale soup sounds so good. I don't know. I don't like kale because it's oh, bitter. I love it. I love me some kale. Hey, V. Davis. Oh, she said she's off too. Vicki is my um, stepmom. That's Vicki. This is Vicki. Kelly said she's off too. Oh, no, she said she's not I'm off. Not. I'm not um, you know, either either day. Tell them it's religious. You got to go. <laughs> it's Easter Sunday. It's Easter Sunday. You can't you can't be on Friday or mm -mm. Susan she's said she's gonna have an accent after this sale. The sad part is we don't think we have an accent. I don't have no accent. I was talking about who's I'm going to have an accent after the second. Well, it won't be Southern, I can assure you. <laughs> you might say some words that aren't really words that we made up. But <laughs> Karen hey, says she hey. works both Friday and Monday. What is wrong with you people? I don't think she's what you she she, And she works for the city. Yeah. Mine, when I go home, Cindy, people can always tell 
if I've been back home. Because when I when I come back, they say I talk just like this. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I do not. And they were like, well, without catching yourself, those words get longer and longer. So, yeah. I'm from Tennessee. I don't have, I don't hear nary an accent, says Wendy. There you go, Wendy. See, there you go. Yeah, when I get around my friends back home, it they, we just draw it all out and we just <laughs> sit around and chaw. That's it. Um, I, I work real hard. The first time, the first time I ever, when I moved here, I answered the phone at the first school. It was during the summer. I answered the phone and I said, well, thank you for calling, Sugar Mill. This is Miss Davis. How can I help you? And my principal said, don't ever answer my phone again. <laughs> don't ever answer it again. What did you say? I said, I just said hello. And she said, we didn't hear anything you said. Don't answer that phone anymore. You work You, you work back there. Don't come up here anymore. Hey, Lori, I see you. Blue Flamingo came in. <clears throat> Hi, Lori. So I'm super excited to have Miss Pamela with me um, tonight. We don't get to hang out very much. Our schedules are very different because no. you're on it to the moon comes up. I go on pretty late. Yeah, that's late. Girl, I'm in the bed. Cutting Z's. I'm a night owl. I'm a little night owl. See, I'm 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 one of those. What does it say? I'm not a night owl and I'm not an early morning bird. I'm one of them. Um, something about a pigeon in between. Have you seen yeah. those that like a frazzled pigeon? That's me in between. I'm good from about 9 a.m. till about 6, 7 p.m. And then y'all can count me out. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done for the day. I'm Cancel my subscription. I'm over y'all's issues. Hey, Miss Paulette. Hey, Miss Paulette. So we're going to have us a live sale, as Miss Pamela would say. No, we're going to have a live sale. I'm ready for bed around 10. Wendy said she's a night owl. No, oh, I can't. I'm a night now, owl. Back in the day, you get up so early. That's why. Yeah, it's true. We, I'm up very, very early. I'm not pleasant, but I am up. <laughs> I'm not pleasant. I'm not liking it when I'm up, but I'm up. Yeah. My my stepmom in the chat can attest, and my daddy is probably listening, but they don't even, they're like, don't even look at her. Don't, don't look at her. <laughs> don't no. even look at her. No. Hey, Kara, how are hey, you? you corner. So, yeah, I'm not a morning girl. I'm, I'm a Scorpio through and through. We don't do mornings. We've actually got to come to, you know, yeah. like, gotta, your feet get on. Look, my, look, she said, True. <laughs> Yeah, she said, uh, me, Cindy said, I used to be a night owl. Then I switched to an early morning person. Now I'm somewhere in between. Yeah, that's what we call it. I call myself a frazzled pigeon. Yeah. Like Monday through Saturday, I'm an early morning person. The weekends, I'm a night owl. And the rest of the week, I'm, uh, I go to bed pretty early. Yeah, I don't. I, sh I shouldn't have said I was a night owl because I'm not a night owl during the week. I will say that. I got situated and settled last night to sit down and watch TV at like seven something. Uh -huh. I'm going to look up at 10 o'clock and had to change the channel. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I lay down, got my little baby all to put on my feet, you know, my little night routine and got still. And that TV watched me 10 minutes later and, and 7.45, I was dead asleep. Dead asleep. <laughs> So it says Kara. Oh, that she's talking to Kara. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, y'all. So we're going to have a live sale. If you don't know how this works, first of all, thank you so much for being here. My name is Beth. This is my channel, Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties. And my famous guest is Miss Pamela Blanchard. She is this way. Uh, Pamela has a channel as well. It is linked in the description below. Um, but on Instagram, she as is Oak Grove. Um, is she? Are you Oak Grove Mercantile on Instagram? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I got so many different aliases. It's hard. Oh, wait. There's Angela. Hey, Angela. Hey, Angela. Let me guess. She's working. Um, she's always working. Probably. She's always at work. And... Um, so we are going to do a little sale tonight. We have 15 Hi, items each. Hey, Joanne. 
We have 15 items each. Miss Pamela's my guest. She's going to go first. We're going to do three items and then we'll take turns. Um, and uh, when Miss Pamela gets up, she will tell you from where she is shipping. She'll tell you all the information that she needs um, and when she's going to invoice and all the things. Uh, she's who's got to hide from all her boyfriends? Who's hiding from boyfriends? She's just got um, home. Who's? I want to know who's got the boyfriend. Ain't me. Ain't me. I got to work. I got to. <laughs> Ain't that the darn straight. For all that. Okay. Look, that like a novella. So, Miss Pamela, thank yes. you so much for being here. Would you please introduce your sweet self and tell people yes. My name where is they can find Blanchard. you? And you can find me on YouTube under Pamela Blanchard. But I'm thinking I may change that. I think I'm going to change everything. I've got to, I'm kind of toying with it. I, I have to kind of let things sit on stew a little bit with myself. But I'm thinking about changing everything to Oak Grove Mercantile. We just don't know yet, but I'm thinking I'm changing everything that way. But I ship from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Well, I ship from Northport, Alabama, but don't nobody know where Northport is. So it's Tuscaloosa. And I use Pirate Ship to ship. And I use PayPal to do your invoices. And this week, since um we're having i am gonna have a sale saturday night i didn't think i was going to but i am gonna have a sale saturday night so i will be combining anything that is sold in tonight's sale with whatever i sell on saturday night so um i'll only be doing invoicing one invoicing and one packing and all that but if you would like your invoice before saturday i mean before sunday or monday then just let me know. Shoot me an email right there at upgradevintage at gmail.com. And I will go ahead and uh, pack it up and uh, invoice you for it. But let's see. Mm. Angela says the reason you have so many different channel names is because you are hiding from the boyfriend. Because I'm hiding from the boyfriend. Well, it must be working because I don't have one. And then everybody else is like, never mind. It's going to be Pam Obama. Or, oh, yeah. but y'all might as well just change all your name to that. That should I should probably just or that. roll tide. You could try that, like Oak Grove Mercantile hashtag roll tide. <laughs> no, no, I'm trying to get it down shorter where I'm not having so many aliases, but I don't know. Can't you go? Is that Kara? Yeah, you will always be known as Pam. Oh, how sweet, darling. That's sweet, but um. What else was I uh, ship with? I ship with Pirate Ship, and I use PayPal for invoicing, and that's all. But if you want me to uh, bill you before Sunday night or Monday, just send me an email, and I'll do it for you because I don't I don't mind doing that. And thank you, Beth, for having me on with you today. You're welcome, Sweet Angel. I don't never get to see you. I know well, we never watch you, but I don't get to, you know, like hey, have some that much. Hey, Kimmy, how are you? She's it's so good cute. to see you, baby. <laughs> but I'll go ahead and start. And my first item, are you, let me see. I, let me try to do my own things. I can do start and stop. Hey, Miss Susan, if I didn't okay. say hey. My before. first item is starting off at $18. Got it. $18. And it is for this sterling silver little bangle bracelet with four sterling silver beads on it. And it is marked. I don't know if I can show it where, which side. Oh, there it is. Whoop, whoop. There's where the bangle is marked. And then the beads are marked on the inside there. But it's just really, it's very forgiving. You just slide it on your arm like that. And it's just like a shepherd's hook. It's closure. And it just closes like that. Hey, Sabrina, how are you, baby? <laughs> I just left you, didn't I? And... It just slides on your arm like that. You can add more to it if you want to. Add more charms like uh, Pandora charms or whatever fits on here. That's what I, I use. And it is so comfortable to wear and just so, I mean, it just goes with anything, you know? But I don't see. Hey, Karen Kay. How are you, baby? But I don't see any interest in this one, so we will put it to the side. That ain't a problem. 
We'll put it to the side and go on some. So, Nate, what's the happenings, baby? Hey, my sweet Nate. Oh, it's so good to see you. It seems funny seeing us on a weeknight, don't it, baby? I just can't, I just don't know how to act being on a weeknight. <laughs> okay, and up next, my next item starts off at twelve dollars, Beth. Yeah, twelve dollars. And it is for this beautiful. This just just screamed spring to me. But this is a Minton M I N T O N uh, springtime little bonbon dish. This pattern is called Haddon Hall. Haddon Hall is the pattern. Uh oh. Haddon Hall, and it's by Minton, and it is just absolutely gorgeous. It reminds me of a chintz, like a chintz pattern, but it feels so good, and it is just so, so pretty. And now I put them rubber, I mean, uh, those little felt things on there to protect the bottom of, to protect my shelves from this, because, you know, I let's face it. I'm almost 70 years old. I ain't going to be able to buy no more new furniture. So I have to protect what I got, you know. But it is so, so pretty. And I just thought all of these colors just was just did so pretty with spring. Yeah, those flowers are really pretty. I like the combination mm -hmm. of the colors that they put it's in there. Very, uh, like very chintz looking to me. Just looks like very shabby, chicy, chintzy looking. So I have an old sugar bowl that that kind of is that shape. Uh -huh. And um, I use that to put my everyday jewelry in on the dresser. Yeah. Because I didn't like, you know, like you just a little tray or something. I didn't like that. So I put the little. Um, <laughs> and something with a lid. Yeah. With a top to it. With, with the a top. top. I put and that I saw. Lid that um geneva came in and dana grace came in hi dana grace hi geneva how are y'all tonight they're so sweet come they days. are sweet they are sweet and then my next piece is a easter spring lot and it starts off at 16 dollars. sweet baby gotcha dana grace kelly's gonna be sad she missed you she's dropping well she ain't missed you She's probably not going to type because she's driving, but she's listening while she's driving. Yeah, I said it. I told on her. I've seen her. I and did. Here's, I a little, here's a little lot. But I'll oh, you put a whole bunch of stuff in that lot. Yeah, I take everything out so y'all can see it. Hey, Chad, what? how are you? Hey, Chad. You get a Easter bingo card. Oh, I love it. You get this little porcelain. This is... I think it's made in Japan. All it says on the bottom is just bluebird and with a pattern number. But look at this sweet baby. That I is just so thought that was so pretty to have sitting around for, you know, Easter or spring or whatever. I mean, I know Easter Sunday, but spring's going to be going on. And then yeah. you've got this sweet little ephemera holder, this little felted flocked bunny. Hey, Ariana, how are you, sweet pea? Thank you for coming. Isn't that sweet of her to drop by? Yes. You get a birthday postcard. This one is from 1909. And it's from a little boy to his grandma. I thought that was so sweet. Because when it's somebody's birthday week, you need to put a birthday postcard out. And leave it out all week for, to celebrate somebody's birthday. That is super sweet. You know, here's an Easter postcard. Gold foil. This one is from 1910. And... You get two vintage hankies. This oh, one is wow. All of this for $16? Mm -hmm. This one is pink roses, pink and blue roses all over it. And this one is yellow and red. Oh, that's pretty. Flowers all over it. And then you get these other. Hold on. There's something else in here. Oh, you get two more. You get this St. Patrick's Day card. Oh, that's a good one. Good. You don't really find them. 1905, 1905 St. Patrick's. Wow. And you get this. Now, this one isn't postmarked, but it's, nope, and they didn't put a date on here either, but it's give, been given to somebody, another Easter postcard. So you get one, two, three, four postcards 
two Easter's, a St. Patrick's, a happy birthday, a Easter bingo card, two vintage hankies, a flocked bunny ephemera holder, and a blue, uh, I'm almost certain that this little blue jay is from Japan, but I'm not sure, but I'll show it's you the bottom. Scarlet. It just says blue jay on the bottom. Yeah. Let's see how sweet he is, and he's painted so pretty. I love a blue bird. I just think he's so pretty. I just think they look like spring to me. That's but a I lot. see her in. Yep. So we'll start the countdown on this light at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. Well, All you right. can uh, you know, you can put it up for next year if you wanted it. All right. There's the stop. I'm not used to Easter being this early. There's the stop. I listened for the stop on my third device or my second device over here. Because, uh -huh. And it goes to Jennifer Miller for 16. Oh, that Jennifer, thing. thank you, baby. Carrie, you were right after the stop. At, I'll even refresh just to double check. Thank you so much. Yeah, right after the stop, Kara. I'm sorry. Thank you for your interest in that, though. And that was my three, baby, for this round. And I can't remember who came in that we didn't that we didn't get to say hey to. So, Miss Pamela, you just jump in when there's somebody. Oh, Yippee IOA came in. Oh, hey Yippee, how are you, baby? So I just saw you a minute ago too. All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for coming to say hey to us today. That makes yes. my whole a whole lot better. It's been Lulu this week. Lulu. <laughs> All right. So my first item is just a $5 choice. Um, I've got some. There's a lot of birds going on. It's been <laughs> foul week. No pun intended. Um, so I've got a lot of feathered fowl over here. But I have... Um, two little sets of salt and pepper shakers um there's the japan stamp on this one now this one has the um cork screw and this one don't even oh it is in there it's in there so these are going to be choice for five dollars only um but i've got these little festive little birds kind of like a parrot or a parakeet they are salt and pepper shakers. There's some vintage pepper, salt and pepper shakers. Or you can get these wide-eyed fellas. I think these oh, are like the little big eyed guys. Like the little pelicans is what they yeah. look at like. Now they are not marked and they don't have their um, stopper, but I feel sure that they're Japan as well. Both sets have really good painting on them, and they are going to be five dollars choice for your um choice of the what i would call the parrot or the pelican hey picasso cat number five dollars number 31 if you are interested in either set of the birds five dollars number 31 some people collect birds some people collect um salt and pepper shakers and um, some people use these in their doodad trays i don't know what somebody else calls it but i call it a doodad tray that little wooden tray like a printer's tray or whatever i call it a doodad tray because where i'm from these are doodads so you got five dollars for your choice number 31 for the salt and pepper shakers that was the first lot my second one y'all there's going to be a change because i had that um cross necklace and i showed it even on instagram and i don't know what happened so this was the cross necklace, but I took it out of the sale because right here, right there, and right there, there are two stones missing. And I am out of the little faceted AB coated stones um, for this. But I loved the way that that, that look, that was like one of my favorite pieces. So I don't know what happened to them. So I put another necklace in here. Um, this one is very festive, kind of goes with my bird theme because it kind of looks peacockish, featherish. 
Um, this is an 18 inch gold tone link necklace. You can see the links in the necklace right here. And um, it has the green, the blue, the orange. These are all acrylic with the flowers here. And then they have the rhinestones in that as well. So this is a little statement piece. It is going to be $12, number 22, $12, number 22. It has a lobster claw clasp on that. And I wanted to show you up close what those look like. They're really, really pretty. I love the colors in that. And this is like a, this is like a, it, it shows opalescent, but it's not. It's kind of like a pale, pale blue right there. Um, that so, is and it is so pretty. Now, I got a lot. Like, I'd have to wear it right here. And that for me, I just, I don't know if I could take it. But when I see the ladies wearing it at, you know, different places, I'm like, that is so pretty. I just don't know if I could pull that off. But that was my second item. That one was um, number 22 for $12. And then the other one that I have is a $10 start. $10 start and it is a little wall pocket. Let me write the start on there. Um, this I've, it's similar to one that I've had before. Um, this piece is made in Japan. I, I want to see uh, there is some crazing. So I want to see if y'all can see that crazing in there. It is a $10 start and it is got the same um, like parrot uh bird on there with little strawberries it looks like but it is a wall pocket so it, it's been washed it's just they they used it so there's a little it is a wall pocket it has the little hanger and this one has the little bump things on there which the other ones didn't um when i've had the other ones before this one has like the buffers um the other ones didn't have that but i have um the give the dimensions to you it it's got the parrot on there and then it looks like strawberries this one is about six and a half inches long and it is about three and a half inches to from here to here three and a half inches and then that six and a half inches long it is a little wall pocket it is starting at ten dollars if you are interested now yes. miss pamela i i go really fast so if you need me to slow down. I go fast. Me. It's okay. I like it fast. I just, I be speeding through, just speeding through. What is Angela doing? Hey, Val. Hey, Val. Hey. How are you tonight, baby? Miss Pam, I think Angela's cutting up in the chat. Look, I'm telling. Look, I'm a child. A little tattletale. Tattletale. A little tattletale. Yeah. Oh, oh, she, she's all right. Hey, Tanya. How are you, baby? Okay. Yeah, um, starts off at $14, my sweet Beth. Okay. And it is for, I can't believe I'm getting rid of these, but I am. This is for, these are Coro Magnetics. I don't know if any of y'all are familiar with them, but these are like tacky plastic Christmas metal and rhinestone. That is my darling. Look how cute. But they it's are awesome. Coro. Let me see if this will show up. They're Coro Magnetics. And hang on. If you, I mean, they were way ahead of their time, honey. Coro, Coro was the shit. Coro was the shit back in the... Okay? Look here. Look here. It didn't matter. You ain't got no pierce. You ain't got no clip. You ain't got no nothing. It's a darn magnet. It is a magnet. Now, I'm all over that. You know, I mean... And the white, the white plastic, that I like that white plastic. I mean, seriously, it is just exactly like the tacky plastic you see on the white Christmas things. And then it's got a little Aurora Borealis uh, crystal in the middle. And then little bitty, tea, tiny gold metal leaves around it. That just as cute. sweet as they can be. And then both of the little backs... I cannot believe these backs have stayed, or I can't believe all of it stayed together that long. But the backs, I've had these forever and a day, uh, are marked Coro. They just say, Cor I think it says Coro Magnetics. Magic, magic, Coro Magic is what they're called. Coro Magic. 
but they know the put them on collars or little jackets or anything I but i like them as earrings or we can pull ariana and put it on a uh oh excuse me put it on a postcard hang on kelly michelle said mom we are loading the truck her here now and we'll be down there loading up soon in case you hear us outside they're loading she's loading the truck so in case you hear them outside she'll that's that's them see how cute it would be to put on a postcard and see there it's just the back that is darling. just adorable but i don't see any interest in them so we will put that we are loading the truck now and we'll be down there oh okay honey okay poor mark he has no rest for the weary do you think he wants to wait maybe to look at well, I ain't, I ain't arguing with her about it. I ain't arguing with her about she it. She said she was going to be in the garden. That's what she told me. She was about to get in the yard. Yeah, that's what. But say, Mark Campbell just got off work. And he has a he has a manual labor job. Okay? Mark Campbell has a physical manual labor job. And he is like a supervisor. So he's also mental. You know? And I feel bad. Yeah, you tell, you're not winning this battle, baby. Not over Mark Campbell. Sorry. Just, no, just, I just feel bad for him. But anyway, here's my second item, and it starts off at $14. And yeah. it is for this little vintage Hollywood Regency little uh, dresser or vanity pot. And it's just, this is heavy, 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 though. But it's just cut. It's like a little die-cut metal. She said mental labor is physical labor. Whatever. And then it's got this brooch with it. This little double. You're getting this little oh, double. Oh, that's pretty. Little. I thought it was just so sweet. It's got the stones in it are like uh, smoky topaz. And then these marquee cut ones are real pretty. Um, I don't even know. Almost like lemonade, but they don't have any yellow to them, if that makes any sense whatsoever. They're just so, so pretty. Lemon water. It's just, I just love it. But you get both of these in the little lot. Jennifer knows I'm crazy. Jennifer, I just feel sorry for him to have to come home and do that, you know. But I see Susan in, so we'll go ahead and start the countdown since we have a bid on it at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and be at end. I think that's so pretty, that little double loop. Oh, and the little tray's got a little liner in it. The little pot, I mean. So uh, that goes to Mrs. Uh, Susan Lynn for 14. Oh, uh, thank you, Susan. $14 for Susan on that one. Hey, Jackie. How are you? And then my last, hey, Jackie. How are you, sweet pea? And then my last item for this round starts off at $18, Beth. Got it. And it is for a set of my little tin litho little baby dishes, little doll dishes. And there's seven, how many pieces in the blue and white? 17 pieces in the little blue and white lot. But here's the little tea caddy. See, those are going your doodad tray. Little tea caddy. Here's the two little metal cups. And these are Ohio Art. This one's a little uh, sugar, open sugar, and a little teacup. And then here's the plates. This is like a snack tray. Little snack tray. Here are your, there's one like big snack tray. Then there's two regular size plates. Then there's one, four of the little saucer-like plates. And then there's two that I put in that was just odd looking, you know, just by themselves of the little blue and white. And then you're also getting the little, this big little pitcher, the two little creamer and the sugar and the two little blue and white like a uh, blue willow cups so you all, all of the 17 it's 17 pieces total now this is plastic 
This is all tin litho. All of this paint, all of these are tin litho. And then um, this little, but I put them all together because they were all blue and white, you know? Really pretty. And I thought that that'd be somebody, a cute little thing to set up. Ooh! Or if you're like me and a grown darn woman and still playing with toys, then you might like them too. Yeah. But I don't see anybody. I don't see anybody with interest in that one. So we'll put them back. Look at Jackie. Hey, Miss Pam and Pam. Okay. So we'll put that back. And that's fine. We'll put those over to the side. And that was my three for that time, baby. We are flying through this. We, we're okay. getting it, honey. We're getting it. We're getting it. Okay. Some more feathered fowl. I have a vintage. <laughs> you just had a fowl day, haven't you? It's a, been a week. Hey, Lori. How are you? Hi, I have Lori. a vintage lidded porcelain i think this is a stackable cream and sugar or a sugar and spice so miss pamela helped me out on this one okay. so it's my chicken right so it's a, a full-fledged chicken hey carrie oh, Ann. Yeah. now on the top on the top it's got the little holes and the stopper right so that's got to be some kind of shaker like a sugar shaker it's only got two holes uh-huh um, now there's a little paint loss right here on the little bottle thing and the comb is pretty good. Now this bottom looks like a creamer to me. It is marked Japan. Now I've seen, I thought it would be like a sugar and creamer, right? A stackable sugar and creamer. Uh -huh. But I also saw a sugar and spice, but this looks like a creamer to me with the, the little thing. It does look like a creamer. I, so, I'm, I'm, I don't know on that one, baby. Yeah, I, I mean, this, I thought it was really cute. I've not seen one like this before. Now, when I first saw it, I thought, and I wanted to point out one other thing. There is, it looks like a straw. Um, it looks like a straw mark right here. It doesn't go all the way through. So, and it's glazed over. So I wanted to show you that, but it is marked on Japan. Uh, marked on Japan. Mark Japan. <laughs> um, but I, I think this is a creamer and I think this is a sugar. At first glance, I thought that it was um, a marriage, but it's actually the pieces. There's a couple of other ones that that look just that look just like this. Um, and this one is going to be this set is going to be um, $15. And it's going to be number 30, $15, number 30 for the stackable. Um, I'm calling it a cream and sugar. Now it does have its little um, pork right here that's in there. Now, again, it has a little bit of paint loss here and that might be cold painted. So y'all might be careful. I just, because I've been so burned with the cold paint where I can't tell it's cold paint and I just, <laughs> rub everything i got to wash everything and then it all comes off but there's a lot of good colors um in the bottom of this chicken and i just love it chicken for the spring i think I that was so cute and then go into the fall the early fall but there that one was 15 dollars number 30 and let me get that over here with this i got a new tripod i'm not loving it mama said hey she's here hey mama hey mama <laughs> So the next is uh, is choice. It's choice for five dollars each, and I have three of what I'm going to call plastic. Now I don't know if they are the um, what do you call it when you rub bake it in? Light. it. I don't know if they're bake light. I don't know what they are, um, but I have three bangles, and I'm going to show you each one of them. This one, it, it tapers. So this one tapers here at the bottom. It's really fat. Now it's, it needs to be washed and scuffed over. Um, but it, this one is black. So it's one of the big chunky bangles. This one, and they're all like, hey, mama. She's laughing. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. Two and a half. She said I used to sound like a baby goat. Ma, ma, mama. <laughs> So this, this one, now this one again is tapered. These are going to be $5 each, number 21. This one is just the regular kind of um, bracelet. It's not the big chunky into the taper. 
Now, if you put these two together, I don't know if y'all can see it. You can see it right there. I called this black, but to me, that almost looks like a dark brown when you put it up against yeah. a black. It kind of changes colors. Yeah. So it, it's so dark that for me, it looked black and I put black on my paper. And then when I put it next to this, it looks um, it looks dark brown. Now, this one is also two and a half. Again, these are five dollars each. And then I have a red. This would be cute with a pair of little white capris coming up for um, the July, 4th of July season. And this one is also um, two and a half. And but that black and red looks good together, too. So you get yep. to choose. They are number 21 and they are five dollars each. I'm going to go big, black, and red. That's all, That's the only way that I can tell them apart. So they are $5 each if you are interested in one of the bracelets. All right. Now the next, and Mama can't get her YouTube fix. We don't know what happened to it, what but now when she, does, YouTube? when she types, it gives her like a username and it's I guess it's asking her to put in a new password, but she shouldn't have to put in a new password. No. All right. So we haven't figured that out and she doesn't want to start all over. Um, she she simply can't want. ask to do all that. I don't know. Okay. The next is going to start at twelve dollars. And this is one I, I, I fiddled with keeping this piece because I, I, I mean, maybe other people have seen them, but. We don't see them. We normally see them in the amber color, but it is a milk glass hen on a nest. And I think this would be super cute for um, especially Easter and spring, um, yeah. because if you put it like this, this could be your Easter basket and then your hen would just be there. Yeah. yeah. Um, so this one is the hen on the nest. It's got the little, um, the hobnail like style, the little beads around there. It's in great condition. I see you, Miss Susan. This is for it's the my favorite nest where it actually looks like a nest instead of like the basket weave. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like a lot of yeah. them look like, <coughs> look like a basket woven. <coughs> that one's actually like a nest. I like that one. one. Do not have like, there's no W or anything on this. I think that it's just, um, just regular milk glass. And then I think the feathers on this one is really, really good. I mean, the yeah. feather detail on this is really good. This one is cute. So I see Miss Susan for this one at starting at $12. So I'm going to measure and then I'm going to count it down for you guys. <clears throat> this one is seven inches, seven inches from here to here. It's a good honker piece. And <laughs> it's, it's a, five, it's a five and a half piece. inches tall. So, I mean, that's a good size piece it for a young nest. But I'm going to count it down for Miss Susan. If anyone else is interested, it's 13 or higher. And this is going to be from 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And do not drop it. Stop. <laughs> That's what I have to tell myself all the time. You just, you just can't do it. All right, Miss Susan, I see you for the hen on the nest for $12. Thank you so much. And I'm going to slide Miss Pamela right on back. Okay. Sweet pea, my next item starts off at $12. Got it. For this sweet little, now I don't know where he was made from. But he is this sweet little sugared elephant. That's it's darling. On like a little nightcap. He's got on like a red um, bow tie. And his all of his little body is just like sugared. He is so sweet. There's no mark on the bottom. There's like a, this is like a, uh, we call those oil pencils or charcoal pencil where it was like 425. I guess when it was new. It was just, it was just so sweet, though. He is just adorable, just a little chunk. 
me see how big he is. He is five inches tall, and he's almost five inches across from big ear to big ear. He looks like a little Dumbo. I love him. But look at his sweet little face. I just thought he was so cute. He's just it's a little that chunky, bow tie. Just a little chunky monkey. But he is just so sweet. God, I think he's darling. He is a darling. little bit of a side eye. Yeah, he's just got a little bit of one. He's not he's not no bad boy though. He's he's a little sweet one. He's just a little sweetie. But look at his little profile. He just I just love him. He is cute. His little mouth. I mean, look at his little rosy cheeks. I see bows in it. So I'll start the countdown from since I've got a bit on him. And we'll start it at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And bid end. Ain't that right, Franny? How are you tonight, baby? It's Alabama A. All right. So it goes to Miss Val for $12. Thanks, Val. Let me write that down real quick and I'll add it to my sheet when it's best turn. Okay. That's so cute. I think he is too cute. And up next are two like vanity items, older vanity items. This, I have no idea how old it is. I would think this is from like the 40s. This is a big tin of Rexall theatrical cream, cold cream. Now, this would be what you would remove theater makeup in. See the little um, mask yeah. in here? What did they start now? Oh, I'm sorry. This little lot is starting at $14. So okay. you get the big thing of the theatrical cold cream, and it's just got Rexall on there. And then it says, on the back it says, this fine grade cold cream has been a favorite of the theatrical profession for over 40 years. Although it has been specially prepared for removing makeup, it also has a general cleansing and softening effect on any skin, making it ideal for any home skin care. Rexall Drug Company. And that, that's all it says, is just Rexall Drug Company. I and you also get, now this is almost full. Is that this, the April? No, that's not April showers. It looks almost just like the April California showers. California Perfume 1977 Anniversary Keepsake Roses Roses. And honey, when I tell you that it is Roses Roses, you can bet on that. But it is almost full. And it's got um, Avon on the bottom, 1977. So this mess right here is 45, 43, 47 years old. Because it that keeps on but, so, but you get both. I thought they'd be, be fun to set on your vanity or if you have a bathroom where you, you know, put old stuff. Yeah. But this can right here, I mean, it just looks like brand new. I love the colors on that one. I like to use the, those tins as risers, too. Yeah. Yeah, this one, this one, though, it does have kind of like a domed lid. It'd be hard to do that. Hey, Kathy, I know it. All the women in my family did too, baby. But I don't Still see any hot in cold cream in, the, in there. Put it to the side. So we'll put that to the side. And that was the pawns. I, listen to me, pawns. Lord Jesus. Okay. And then, that, oh, next up, this one starts off at $10, Beth. Got it. $10. And it is for, this piece right here is at least 100 years old. This oh is God. a handmade lace tabletop doily. It has beautiful hearts all around the outside of the border. And it is so delicate, fine, and frilly. It is in absolutely perfect mint condition. But it looks like a bridal veil. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, it, it's just beautiful. But let me put it up against my shirt. Try to move it out so you can see how beautiful it is. But it is just so finely made. Yeah, I love those for like tabletops. You it know, when you get 
even yeah. in the center of a big table, like your dining room table, and you put a, a colored and then put the center on the top. I don't know what they used to call that. They used to call it something. It is just absolutely gorgeous. And there is not a missed stitch. There is not. I, I mean, look, this is all, every bit of this is hand done. That's so pretty. This family, how they, but you know, they, they had to get rid of some, there was just so much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can just, it's like I told Kelly, I said, don't worry about it, but you can just keep so much, you know? And there was three girls and one boy in this lady's family. And they were like, we, cause we would all be like, oh my God, how can you give this, you know, how can you sell this? How can you get rid of this or something? And they were like, believe me. I, every one of us has like trunks full. It was like yeah. trunks full of it. And they but, prioritized yeah. the things that they wanted more than, you know, yeah. certain items. But it is just so pretty. And most of them, she made most of them things. Like the, when the girls got married, she made every one of them like their own tablecloth, napkins, bedspreads. I mean, wow. can you imagine your great granny? And this was their great grandmother that did this for them. But I, uh, let's see, did I see any? Did I have anybody? Yeah, I got Karen oh, Kate. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, we'll start at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and be at end. I think I hit stop too soon, but I will. I see the stop. Karen K. Thank you, baby. Karen, this thing, this piece is gorgeous, honey. She I loves it. Wait for you to see it in person. Thank you so much, love. And that was my that was my three. Was it? Okay. Y'all, yeah. guess what? I forgot to tell you all the stuff. Like um, I need the same information that Miss Pam needs. Your first and last name, your YouTube name, if it yeah. is different, complete mailing address, and your PayPal email. Send it right here to scprincess1 at comcast.net. I, while my name is Carolina Princess, I am from South Carolina, but I live in Texas, so I will be shipping from right outside of Houston. I just assume that people know, but they don't know, and uh -huh. people send me emails to let me know that they don't know, and then they ask me. But all the information, including Pam's information, her email, and the things that we will need, as well as her YouTube um, links, all of that is in the description below. So if you ever get into a sale and you don't know, you know, where they're shipping from or their email, Email if it's past the time, just look in the description real quick and it'll tell you. But I will be invoicing. So, you know, Good Friday. I don't know if the post office runs on Good Friday, but I don't know. Um, it might, I, but I won't be here. I'm going to my take myself to an adult timeout. Um, <laughs> I'm doing an adult timeout. I will be at the beach. So I said, barring something blows up, I'm going to the beach. So if if something happens, I'll just have to find out when I get back because I'm, I'm not going to be available. And um, so, and then there's Saturday. I'll probably could do some invoicing on Saturday, um, but of course there's Easter Sunday. And then I could do some on Monday as well. If you, um, if you need it before then, just let me know. Um, so yes, I shop. Yes, I know. Very confused, but right outside the post office is open, says Lisa on oh, Friday. Good. Friday. Hey, Lisa, well, by the way. Um, I'm still going to the beach, but anyway, that's beside the point. <laughs> um, if if you uh, have any uh, new to me, put it at SC Princess at, at SC Princess One at Comcast.net. Please remember if you moved or changed like apartment numbers, building numbers, or whatever, make sure you update that with me. All right, I think I got it all right now. So the next item that I have, I just think is darling. Hey, Miss Nancy, um, is. Mm -hmm. and I going to try not to drop this. Mm, so I'm going to show you that I have it taped. So it is a chicken salt and pepper with the napkin holder. How cute. It has the two eggs. I need to put my finger right here. 
and the the these are made in japan here is and it has its stopper in there so there's one here it, and it rests right here on the side i'm put my finger on it and then it has the other one you can see i've taped it so it won't fall here's the other one also marked japan that sits right by the chicken i just think this is darling i think it's adorable too cute and then there's a chicken butt right here and in said chicken butt goes your napkin it is now, so cute. Ain't that cute that is just spicy cute isn't it, it it's is. in great condition it is in really good condition on the bottom it says at gift teas at gift company maybe is is there but i've taped the eggs down so that they won't uh, when i'm flipping it around that it won't go anywhere it's in wonderful condition it's got a beautiful glaze to it, it almost reminds me of a california glaze it on does. It. i know it's a chick it, you thought i was lying it's a chick butt it's a chicken butt girl i wasn't lying <laughs> but it it doesn't it the the details in this is really great the details in all of this is really, really cute. It really, really cute, and um, it is going to be for the whole set. Is going to be eighteen dollars, eighteen dollars. Number thirty-three for the whole set. Eight chicken button all. Thirteen dollars. Oh, eighteen dollars. Number thirty-three. Eighteen dollars. Number thirty-three. It does come with two salt and pepper. Um, yes, I'm. It, it's been a foul week, so I'm having all birds. It's just how it was rolling this week. Um, it is really, really cute. I think this is so darn. I've never seen one like that. Have you seen one like that, Miss Pam? I have. You I have? Yes. It's a I little bit of a set. And I think I it's, think it's cool. darling. I think they're so cute, but I keep taping the, the eggs because I don't want him to lose his eggs. There I guess are it's also two little condiment jars. Look, like see, little I get nervous. Jars. Even though it's taped, I get nervous. <laughs> I can't, I can't take the stress. You can't take the stress. enough stress this week. I can't take the stress. I'm like, look, put all your eggs in one basket. I can't, I can't do the stress. So it, if, if it just moves, I get nervous. But I just thought it was in really great shape. And you said there's condiment jars with it? There, there, it, there are condiment tooths. I've seen that plus two little condiment jars that have, and I think over like in, we don't do it here. Well, I don't, I don't, I say people don't do it here. I don't, I have was not raised like this, but like to have mustard and stuff on a, yeah, like on your breakfast table or whatever. We don't have mustard unless you're eating little smoky sausages, those pigs yeah. in a blanket. But there's like, I've seen it with two little condiment jars with it, with little white, like glass spoons with them or ceramic spoons, little white ceramic spoons in them. Um, so I just thought that was really cute. And the fact that it wasn't broken or, until I probably will. <laughs> it's it's not left your house yet, though. <laughs> yeah, it, it's Woo! not gone yet, right? Not on wood. Okay, my next is a linen lot. You're going to get the whole lot for $10. And look, there's a rooster in it. There's or a rooster. chicken. Let me show you what all is in here for $10. I got, um, I got two of these little, I call these pot, like hot pads. Mm -hmm. I don't know what somebody else calls them. Now, I washed them but did not stain treat them. And right here is a little discoloring. Now, it was washed, but I'm not, I didn't stain treat them. You've got these two red and white um, little hot pads. You're getting that. And the whole lot, again, is $10. You're going to get this little linen towel. And I do want to show you there. And again, I um, washed it, but I didn't treat it. This looks like iron marks to me. Yeah, it looks like where the iron got too hot on it. Yeah. Um, and this is kind of a little bit stiff, but it's got the fabric on there. And then it's got a little bit more of the detail. But this is like the, the fabric applique. This one, I think I know the dimensions of this one. The white, the, the crocheted pot holders, and then this linen one is 22 
by 14. This one is 22 by 14. So those three pieces. Then you're going to get a 27 by 16. You're going to get a red chicken. Of course you are. Of course you're getting okay. a chicken. Because it's been okay. a foul week. It's a foul week. It's been a foul a week. winner, winner, chicken dinner. And this one I thought is a little hen. And she's so cute with her little, look at that baby right there. But it's got a little brick rack right here. And then you're going to get the, what is this one? I think this is, tell me if you think, I think this is a toaster cover, right? Yes. Toaster cover. Uh -huh. And look at the chicken. It's, look. But, you know, we might cover tortillas with this here. Like here, we probably cover tortillas with it because it goes flat. But it's a little handmade little, I think it's a toaster cover. Got the little button eyes and everything there. It's definitely a winner, winner chicken dinner. It's got the little rickrack around the edge. It's got the little thing that you would pick it up by. I do think that it's probably like just the top for a, a um, toaster. But we've got... One, two, three, four, five pieces. Five pieces for $10, number 25. Number 25 for the chicken linen lot. You get the two pot holders, the white linen towel, chickens, chickens, and more chicken. But that is, um, like at my booth, I have like double the chickens because I don't know if y'all remember a while back, I just bought a whole bunch of chickens because I just thought they were cute and I was just in a chicken mood. So I bought a whole bunch of chickens and this is all that's left of all those chickens because in between my two booths, it's been chicken crazy over there. There's feathers really? flying. Yes. So Dee said, um, it was like a couple of months ago, I think Dee was talking in one of her sales that she got rid of all her chickens and then, or she said the top of a biscuit basket, maybe. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. She said, and now she got rid of all her chickens. And now chickens are coming back. So now she's got to find the chickens that she had and bring them back. But that, that whole lot is $10, number 25. And then my third item for this round is a beautiful piece of jewelry. Um, satellite. Satellite. F satellite and tiger's eye bracelet. So oh, it's the blue, me. which looks to me like the lapis color. It's that uh -huh. really lapis color but then it has tiger's eye these are all the satellite glass and tiger's eye these are well or the the stone beads but there's both of these this is going to be 15 dollars number 32 it has beautiful bead caps on the end and a very ornate little that is a clasp. Really clasp it is a i thought it was a really ornate little clasp so this this is is a good what? there's no chicken hanging off of it i don't have a chicken Chicken charm on this one, y'all. I got to mix it up. Keep make sure y'all are awake out there. Um, <laughs> this one is going to be fifteen dollars, number thirty-two, and the diameter of this is, gosh, y'all. This is about. This is a bigger one. This one is about. I'm going to say. Um, make sure I don't pull it too taut. Like two and uh three two and three quarters because it's bigger. Because it goes on my whole hand without taking it off. But the bead on it is so pretty. That sod light. Um, it is pretty. It is that beautiful blue color. And then you add that tiger's eye in there. And it's, it's got some good weight to color. it. Um, but it's a very, very pretty bracelet. And then they added that beautiful bead cap and the big um, lobster claw with all that detail. It's so pretty. It is $15, number 32 for that one. All right. That is one, two, three. That is my three. I'm going back over to Pamela. See, y'all thought I wasn't listening. There was no chicken. In there was that no one. chicken. <laughs> Don't worry. There's more chicken. Okay. Let's see. My next item starts off at $10, Beth. Got it. And this is for this. Um, oh, well, nope. We can't do this because, well, I'm going to have to find something to replace him because one of his little things, it was going to be this little heron style style seahorse, but one of his little things is broken off. So I can't do okay, so that. Take that one off. 
I'm going to take that one off and we'll replace it with something else. But let's see. So let me write that out. Okay. And then this next piece is a straight plane. And it is for these two little, Hong, they're made in Hong Kong, little Humpty Dumpty. And they're heavy, heavy duty plastic. They're not like celluloid or anything you can beat in. They're like uh, blow mold plastic. Little Humpty Dumpty salt and pepper shakers. And both of their little, both of the little eggs have um, Hong Kong on them. But they're Those just, are... both have their little original stop. Well, I don't know if they're original or not. They both have these stoppers and I didn't put them in them. But it's just a cute little set. They're $10 and they're number 54. $10, number 54 for Humpity Dumpity. Humpity Dumpity and his great file. So I'll put those right there. And they were $10. And then next up is another little Easter spring lot that starts off at $10. And it okay. is for this beautiful, um, this is uh, a vintage hanky. It's pink and purple flowers and it's got the little scalloped edge as well just really that's not a stain that's a piece of lint out of the my washing I love, are those pansies or something yes there's pansies right here on the bottom and these are like little uh they're kind of like little snapdragons the penguins are they're cute and then you get the little um lavender colored bunny felted bunny ephemera holder and you get this um, birthday card, this is not postmarked, but it's it's written to somebody in an old-timey handwriting. This is um, an embossed postcard right there. This is a happy birthday. You get this gold foil and embossed Easter postcard with these beautiful gold foil. This is like all of these roses are embossed, and it just says a joyous Easter in gold. Hey, tiny human. How are you, sweet baby? Mwah. I love you. <laughs> I hope you had fun at dance last night. And this next one is not postmarked either, but it's, look at this. I thought this is a birthday card, but I thought that would be beautiful out anytime. Yeah, With that's really pretty. Wheat doves and that just, that's just a like a wildflower old tea rose. I just thought that was so pretty. So you get all of this for a starting bid of three of ten dollars. The three antique postcards, the little ephemera holder where you can put one in there, and then the vintage um, hanky. That's a big old hanky. It's really pretty. It is pretty. It's just sweet to to set around. You could just sit that there and put you put your bunny beside it, and it'd just be a shot of spring. But I don't see anybody for that one, so we'll put it to the side. And then, oh, I have to find something. Hang on just a second. Let me. Now, big ones, those big hankies, I like to use like as little, kind of like doilies um, because they give a lot of pops of color, like yeah. on the end table or the table or something like that. Okay. So. To replace the seahorse, this is going to start off at $14, and this is a Leo Ward. Leo Ward, 1991, and it's one of the little bitty bluebirds. He said, it's a little bitty one. Little bitty Leo Ward bluebird, and here's where he signed it on the bottom. If I can get it still enough to where you see it right there. But it's just so stinking cute with his little tail feather up. But he's just... That. Wait, hey, somewhere I have some bitty, bitty, tiny, tiny ones, and I don't know what I did with them. I have some of those too, and I the little teeny ones are only like one inch. Yeah, I don't know what it's I did with them. Two inches tall. Yeah, the little bitty ones are, are barely an inch tall. But we will start the countdown on this one at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and be at end. See, you like feathered fowl. It was. I knew. I'm, I'm sympathizing with you. I'm sympathizing with you because of the fowl week. Okay. 
I'm sympathizing with you. So let me change this to Bluebird. And that goes to Miss Susan Lynn. She says she collects those. I said, see, she's got the rooster and now the bird. So she oh, likes. Oh, Susan. And that's my three, baby. All right. <clears throat> Somebody must be talking about me. My nose is itching. All right. Mine was too. They Mine talking about too. us. Yes. It's all right. You can talk about me all day long. Um, <laughs> let's see. This one, y'all, you're not going to believe what this is. You are going to be shocked. It's a chicken. Um, <laughs> but this one's the chicken surprise. This is the chicken surprise. Now, I will point out that there is some cold paint here that is lost. Um, he's in great condition. Same coloring, y'all, as this one. So you see that same? Let me move my finger because you can't see anything with my finger in the way. Look, see the coloring? The coloring is very similar. All right. So this one is a chicken on a nest, right? Right. We got that part. Oh, Lord, do Jesus. And this one is marked Japan. Hold on, because I got the lid sliding off. And then here's the surprise part. You saw it on my Instagram. It's got egg, salt, and peppers inside under the chicken. How Look. cute. Chicken. Right, chicken on a nest, chicken on a basket, chicken basket. <laughs> Not the way I do a chicken basket. It also has a chicken butt. But if you lift it up, there are two salt and peppers that are the eggs. Now, this, this set is made in Japan. This has the cork with the Japan sticker. I just thought these were cute, y'all. I just went chicken crazy. And these are um, both chicken looking that crazy. Way. Now, but now see, you can tell they're, they're like modern Japan. Hey, Miss Norma Jean, because you got three holes and two holes. And then the older, old one, everybody has a whole bunch of holes. But this chicken has only got three and two. And then you cover them up. I thought he was darling. The chicken, um, chicken with eggs and salt and pepper. I done lost my number stick somewhere. And I was going to tell you that it is four and a half inches tall. And it is four inches long. So four inches. It has, it's a chicken and eggs. And eggs. I mean, we can go run the gamut of the chickens over here. Um, this one is going to be $10, number 20. $10, number 20 for the surprise Sur chicken on a basket. Now, I do want to show you, I'm doing $10 because the there's cold paint missing right right there, but they are from Japan. And I see Miss Susan picking up another feathered fowl on a basket. She collects those things on a basket. And it's useful. Well, it's a good thing. It's a good thing that we have we had one more fowl week for you, Miss Susan, because you've right. come to the right place. All right, now Miss Pamela just brought one of these, and I'm bringing one too. This is going to start at fifteen dollars. This one is also a 1991 signed Leo Ward, but this is the bigger one, and it's going to start at fifteen. Aww. So he's got the longer tail. Mm -hmm. See, so got the longer tail. There is the upside down Leo Ward 1991 etch. Good beak, nothing wrong with him whatsoever. He is the so there's a there's this one, then there's Miss Pamela's, then there's like the little ones, and there might be one in between the little ones and the short tail. I can't remember. I'm dying well, to find one. Like there's a littler one, long tail. Yes, you know, mine was a little short tail. It seems tail. like there's one a little bit bigger than mine. With the, but it's, shorter than, it's smaller than this one. This yeah. one, this one is four inches long and it is almost three inches tall. You got to love a good beat girl. Love a good beat girl. Beat. So, yeah. yes. Yes, there is, she says. And I mean, the, the detail in this is really good. So I see that Miss Susan is there. For 15, and I'm going to count it down 15, 14, 13, 12, 
11. I love that color. Mm -hmm. uh, 10, 19. I can't count. 10, 19. I, what am I doing? And I, and I teach and run the school. 10, 9, Baby. 8. I'm telling you, it's been a foul week. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we're going to stop. All right. Now let me do some finagling to see that I get it all right. Um, yeah, just a, it's been a, a week full of offered learning opportunities is what I like to say. And I see Miss Susan coming in at 17. All right. So I have you down for that one. And then my third item I know it's after five o'clock and we, and we know I don't do much after five o'clock. Okay. Look at uh, Dragonfly Attic. Hey, Beth. Hey, how are you? Oh, good to see you, girl. I thought about you because I'm headed to the beach tomorrow. Sure am. She stays to the beach. I think, do you live there now, Beth? Okay. I know that y'all are going to be shocked. Hold your horses. You've never seen one of these. I have, does anybody want to guess what it is? A chicken. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Now, I'm not the only one that had this. She said, no, I wish. Me too, girl. I told him I'm going tomorrow, but and if I come back, that that's great. Um, it's a vintage uh, ceramic nesting chicken on a basket. This is the jar or canister. This would be, if this is the canister, it's the short one. I call this a jar because a canister to me has a seal. So yeah. I call this the jar. Okay. Now yeah. this has got the darker coloring, kind of like the autumn. So I'm comparing it to these chickens that are kind of spring or in the early fall. Yeah. This one is going to be a more fall chicken. It's got the leaf on it. It's got the tall basket. So let me take it apart so I don't drop it. Um, this one is marked Japan, and it does have the taller basket. Now, I like the basket, and I think Picasso Cat had one of these. I thought I saw this in one of her shorts. I like the detail around here and the leaf on the top and bottom. It's in wonderful condition. And then the chicken here. I want to tell you that the chicken here right on the back side has some paint loss right there, a little rough spot on this one, right? And um, then it's got the darker colors and there's a little bit of paint loss here and here on the comb. Yeah. So because of this little spot right here and because of the paint loss on this one, this one is going to just be $8. It is going to be $8, number 29, $8, number 29, and it is taller. It is about five and three quarter, five and three quarter by four. So five and three quarter by four right here. And it, because it does have the back piece, which you put a little black paint over there and it would be fine. Put it to the back and or the side and you won't see it, but it's $8 number 29, number 29. I don't know what happened to my numbers. <laughs> and I'm the one that said, bring your numbers. So it's $8 number 29. Me too, Miss Norma Jean. I would love to live at the beach. I love the beach too, Norma Jean. How close are you to any beach, Miss Pamela? I am four hours from the beach. That's just too long. Because when I was back home, I was two hours. And if you get it, you're about an hour and a half. If you put the pedal to the metal, you're about an hour and a half. I see you, Val, for this one for $8 for the chicken basket. I think I'm having a hot flash. Oh, Lord. Oh, my do God. Do I look dewy? Do I look dewy? Because I feel dewy. Your little M O I S T. Look at a little M O I S T, baby. Okay. 
My next piece starts off at $16, baby. And it is for this sterling silver ring. It is a size eight and a half. Let's see if that'll show up right there. Size eight and a half. And it is like a pink quartz cabochon. It's just a very simple setting. Very simple. And again, it's eight and a half. And she said it's a personal summer. We don't have hot flashes. <laughs> These are new. I've never had, um, I've not experienced this before. So these Sweet. are all new. Finger. And it's just an oval, real pretty pink, pink quartz. You can't see the striations in it um, there like you can in person, but it's got just real pretty striations in that quartz. Just really, really sweet. It's a personal summer. We don't have. <laughs> Lord, waiting, child. I don't have them anymore. I don't thank the Lord. Well, these I are new. I've not experienced this this phenomena until about two weeks ago. Oh well, buckle up, Buttercup, because it's 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 oh, going downhill from here. Down. I can tell you that right now. Okay, so we'll pass on that one. And then this next item is just a straight claim. And it is for this vintage tin. This is a dire, dire, dire tin. Dark hair, dire, dark. We don't know. D-A-H-E-R. Made in England, D-A-H-E-R. But I just thought it was so pretty. Again, it's those beautiful chintz-like looking flowers that I love. This one is in absolutely fantastic condition. There's the top of it octagonal shaped is the inside nice nice and clean just real tight fit on it so you can i use uh these for um, my different tea bags different flavors yeah. of tea i keep them in these tins like this but this one is eight dollars and it's number 64 eight dollars number 64 yeah, that that's really pretty. I love all the colors. They did a great job on those colors and those dar tins. Mm-hmm. They they are they really well made too. They last forever. Okay, so let me put that one over there. What number is that? Sixty four. I have to keep up with this. Lord Jesus, I won't know where I'm at. What was oh? I just read my mama's text because you know she texts me because we're live. Right. And she's she said, you know, the only thing I've ever really wanted was a blue bird. <laughs> She's never told me that a day in her wide life. She just well, said, she anytime, she, you. She she said anytime, you. yes, anytime she wants something, she'll say, it's the only thing I've really ever wanted. Well, it's that was said two weeks ago. <laughs> I'll get you a blue bird, mama. I'll get you a blue bird. Lord, my next item is also a straight claim item, and it is just this sweet little, this is like 1970s, little baseball boy bank. He's like really hard plastic. He's got his little rubber stopper in the bottom, and he is just absolutely gorgeous. He's a, here he is by my head, but let me measure him. With my number stick. Yes, get your number stick. Six inches tall. He is six inches yes. tall, and he is just as sweet as he can be with his little freckles on his face. And he is $8 and he is number 63. He $8 is super. number 63. Super cute. Super no, super. Man, I got, I have another one and she's, I've already bought her something else that I had made for her. And she said, well, I'll never get that. I said, she said, well, let me see it. I said, no, I'm going to send it to you. And she said, well, I'll never get that. Oh my God. How, she, woo, how bad are you going to be baby? So I just said, you know what? I'll, I'll send her the bird and the thing. So, so she just knows how she, she's guilt 101. She should have been Italian. <laughs> Okay, that's my that was my three for that round. No, okay. it wasn't. I got another one. I'm sorry. I was gonna say I did. I saw two. No, no. Miss Susan, I got another one. I got another one. She'll be fine. She's fine. I've had those bluebirds forever. She she never noticed that I had them until you know now. 
Okay, my next piece starts off at eight dollars, baby. Eight dollars. And it is for this antique stick pen. Now, this is a hat pen, but it's not a long one like they like some other ones in my collection. This has two glass black beads on it with a little old um rhinestone rondelle in the middle of it now i put these little ends on it it didn't come with this end but i did because i'm forever sticking myself with them and i got all of my hat pins out the other day and started going through which ones i was going to sell and stuff and i the ends of my two fingers right here were so sore so i got some of these and i put it on the ends of all of them but this is just you can use it as a stick pin on your collar or anywhere but this was in uh for a hat, you know, like the smaller hats. But it starts off at eight. Did I say eight dollars? Did I tell you? Uh -huh. And it's just got a real pretty little glass, glass, two glass beads, and then this little rondelle on the inside. Who is that calling me? I don't know. I'm gonna tell them, I'm gonna tell them, Mama, what you said. I'm gonna tell Miss Pam, Miss Pamela, she's going call, call. <laughs> Cause she's like, I'm gonna never get it. I'll be dead for I'll get. It. <laughs> Have you ever? How bad is she? Kelly Michelle out of thank her lucky star. She thinks I'm spoil rotten. In the fourth quarter. Okay, I don't see anybody for that one, so we will put that to the side. And yep, that was my last one. Okay. Yeah. We'll put that That's her new line right now, Miss Pamela. That she's in the fourth quarter of her life, so she is don't. Have, she's quarter? Hey Cheryl, hey Cheryl, that's what she tells everybody. I'm not waiting to do it. I'm in the fourth quarter. Oh dear God in heaven! Dear God in heaven. She keeps me laughing. Okay, the next is going to be a choice. Now there, it's it, this is Sarah Coventry. It's called the Tic Tac Toe, but not everybody needs all three. And some people just want one. So I took a poll and they decided to sell them separately because you just might want one. Um, and so these are going to start at $10. And I did show these on my um, preview. Sarah Coventry, they are the... the um, oh, I've seen it, those before. The little tic-tac-toe. They're like yeah. jelly belly almost. Um, and then they're the pins. Okay, so this is a stone inside. There's a blue stone, and I don't know what kind it is, a green and a red. They are they are thick. Um, I would hate to say that they're brass, but they're very thick gold tone. They are brassy in. Um, she said, how cute. I'm going to say I'm in the fourth quarter of my life. <laughs> it seems to work. People just give her what she wants. <laughs> She's like, I'm not waiting. I'm in the fourth quarter. <laughs> so these are going to be for choice. And I want to show you. She used to try that whole, <laughs> I'm not going to make it, three quarter inch by, these are about three quarter inch. Um, the little pin. I see you, Miss Jan. And they're $10 for choice. So I have the blue one. I just wanted to, and they are each marked. I know you can't read that, but it says Sarah Coventry right there um on the back they are the the pinch pins which my pencil is not good and that must come with the dab burn hot flashes where your pencil ain't good enough or your pencil graph <laughs> <sighs> so i have so the orange one or red one i know that it's hard to see but it's got some white in that stone it's like white and brown in this stone this one is light green and dark green and then this one is blue with a little different shade. So I'm hoping that that's going to come out for y'all. So there are three and these are choice. Um, Kathy said, I feel like I'm in the fifth quarter. <laughs> I, don't, I feel fantastic, but I know where I am. As far as the football game goes, I know exactly where I'm at. I, I'm lying. <laughs> Um, and so these are all Sarah Coventry. So I am going to sell them um, choice. And I saw that Miss um, Jan came in. I'm going to go ahead and count these down and she will get choice of one, two or three, ten dollars each. This is going to go 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five. There's a little red stone in the eye and they got beak open. Uh, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. They're all saying they're in the end zone in the two minute overtime. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, Jan, tell me which one or ones would you like for $10 each? And I will put you down for that one. I'm going to shock everybody for the last time on this sale. <laughs> I'm going to just let them be shocked. Red and green. Got you. Red and I green. I have three more left. Is that right? No, you shouldn't have any more left. Cause this is my last round. That's right. Because I reply. As, never mind. I got you. I got you. I heard the setting. I heard the hesitation before you said nine, Beth. <laughs> Kathy. Leave me alone, Kathy Wiseman. I can't. All right. She can't. We've got to. We've really got to be on the watch. Y'all help me watch out for her, okay? Good luck. <laughs> There's a whole team. <laughs> There's a whole team like, is this the day? Okay. All right. I'm going to shock y'all out now. This one is um, going to be a Royal Windsor. Royal Windsor figurine, right? It's a chicken. If, it's what? my last chicken. What in the world? What? I wish I would thought about you bringing a chicken. Dang. Let me just say this, Miss Pamela. This is only maybe a quarter of the chicken that I just went crazy that day. And it was multiple days. And one day I went super chicken crazy. Then the next day I was like, oh, look, a chicken. And then when I got home, I had a lot of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> it was a chicken so cute. Oh, no, more wings and feathers, she said. <laughs> Poor Dana and, Grace. I bet you we've sent Dana Grace in a tailspin. She is the one that's scared of birds or something. Yes, God, oh, yes. Dana Grace. Girl, I threw some jewelry in there. You love that. <laughs> and these are the, like, so I had one, two, three, four, five, maybe six pieces. Six pieces. And I probably had, I'm not going to lie. If I had 20 pieces, I had 40 pieces of chicken. And I had six pieces left. And they was buying and, that stuff in the booth, wasn't they? Yeah. Yeah. So, and I I thought D, you know, D is had all her chickens and she got rid of them because she was like, oh, I'm gonna try something different. She said, I'd be darn brown if chickens and the farmhouse thing didn't come back around. She said, now I gotta go buy back and buy all my chickens. She had, she's so funny. I know she, Dana probably left. She's probably like, I got to go. Yeah, I got to buy I, her. I tell you, we probably, we probably put her on uh watch, you know? Him's a Royal Windsor little chicken. I think he is super cute y'all, but I had to bring him to round out my chickens today. Um, he is $15, number 23, $15, number 23. And he is six and three quarter inches tall. I think he's cute. And and I'm telling you, this is it. I'm going to take these to the other booth. She went to walk the dog. <laughs> um, and he's about five inches this way. But the Royal Windsor, I mean, the, the painting on this and the glazing on this, the coloring is really, really pretty. And I'll tell you that this was the color of the majority of them, like this coloring. Yeah. And and this is it. This, this is this is all of the chicken stuff. So I took a bunch of it to one booth. I took it to the one in Glen Flora. And the chickens, I came back and she was like, well, there was like three ladies and they came in here and they were all like doing chickens, like decor, different yeah. places. So they bought them up. And people said to me when I showed the video of my booth, they're like, oh, have you ever brought any of these things to live sales? So I started kind of weed and yeah. stuff because normally i don't i say okay this is for the booth or you know this is for live sales or whatever but so now i'm just bringing them all we'll just bring them all <laughs> all right but yeah these are the these are going to go to my other booth in rosenberg the what I, I only have three left three chickens left 
That's pretty good. I when I said girl, when I said I bought some chickens, you bought some I chicken. bought flats full of chicken. I don't know what came over me because I have never even bought a chicken before. So, you know, unless it was fried with the biscuit. <laughs> that would be the only way I ate without a chicken. <laughs> Oh my God. I'm a mess. Oh my Lord, my Lord, my Lord. So my last one is not a chicken. It is not a chicken. Okay. It is, it's a piece of jewelry because you know it's got to be a chicken or it's got to be jewelry. That's where my two oh my, my two came from. I've got a, a one and three quarter inch silver tone brooch with the pink glass, which is the and the moonstone. So this is a pink, a dark pink rhinestone. And then your moonstone pieces here that are faceted. So I think this one is super, super pretty. This is not a rooster. She said, no way, not a chicken. No, no way. This one is $14, $14. It's one, it's almost two inches. It's one and three quarter, um, $14, number 28. $14, number 28. That moonstone is so pretty, I think. It is pretty. I love those colors. And with the springtime, that'll look really pretty. Um, I was keeping this one. I had it set aside for October because it's um, breast cancer awareness. Yeah. And she said prettier than a chicken. <laughs> it's prettier than a chicken. That's what they, that's what Susan said. And I had it set aside because I was going to keep it to them. But then I was like, no, I think this is pretty for spring. It so is. this one is fourteen dollars. Number twenty eight. Fourteen dollars. Number twenty eight. All right. <clears throat> so, Miss Pamela. Yes, darling. Do you have some that you want to reshow? I can. I see you, Karen K. for number twenty eight. Thank you. We can just do I can just do them like up and go through them really quick the oh thank oh. you i'm so glad that you like them they were pretty, they're pretty like, aren't they, they they're real pretty beautiful. they they are the ones that have the etching hummingbird and the flowers well i have a set of those um i have a set of those but i found another and mine have a chip but then i found a set that didn't have a chip and i was like well i'll keep the chip one and, and let yeah. somebody else Oh, October is your birthday month. That's fabulous. That's sweet. Okay. Uh, this is the di Dyer, D-A-H-E-R, ever how you say it, uh, 10. And it's $8, number 64. $8, number 64. Then the little baseball boy. Um, baseball boy, little coin bank. There's his little stopper. And he is also eight dollars. He's number sixty-three. And let's see. Oh, I can do this one as a straight claim. Hold on, let me let me put a price on it. This mitten bone china little covered jar, and there's the mitten on the bottom. Bone China Mitten. He is $12 and it's number 55. $12, number 55. I just love those flowers on this one. I do too. That's really pretty. Dang. Those people are riding by here with their music in their car so loud with those bumper speakers like. So it is rattling these windows in my house. God. Oh, Franny, I see you for that. Wait, 64. That was the 10. You got it, Franny. Thank you, baby. Franny B. Franny B got the 10. Well, if Kelly Michelle is outside, you know she knows the song. <laughs> that wasn't nothing but just bang, bang, bang. And then... That girl knows some music. Yeah. This is the last one I'm going to show because I, I feel like I need to go out there and help them. This is the sterling silver bangle with four sterling silver beads and it's marked sterling, which, oh, um, right there. And it's the kind of like a, the shepherd's hook and it just, you know, it opens up wide and then you just clip it on your wrist. 
and it's got the four little sterling silver bead ball beads on there and this one i'm just gonna put a straight price on it too write that down because i had it as a straight i mean as a offer up during the sale but i'll do it like this see it just it just opens like that and closes back and it is sixteen dollars and it's number 51 16 dollars number 51 Susan, she can't she don't play it she plays it loud but not nearly that loud bless her heart i mean that was rattling the darn windows in this house that was crazy. You know these kids today. That you these kids today. I'm telling that's, you. You know, as you get older, that's what you say. Y'all's music is just just noise. Just and noise. You know, I used to sleep with my stereo on in my bedroom when I was a teenager. Well, you know, a kid, as soon as I got my record player, I'd I'd go to sleep with my radio on and play it on and I have to have everything completely silent when I go to sleep now. I really? Know. Yeah. That TV watches me after about 10 minutes and then now, I have to, sometimes I do listen to my like I put a YouTube video on like Tarnished Treasures. I put her videos on and just like it'll say play, play all or whatever. And I'll just listen to that or Antiques Road Trip and I'll watch that or leave it on while I'm sleeping. It just depends. Yeah, I'm big into the ASMR right now. Uh, Val wants to know, didn't you have a bird wall pocket? Did you? Did I did. It? I'm about to reshow that. Mm -hmm. Okay, you go ahead and reshow, baby. Are you done showing this? I'm done showing my yes. Okay, let me show a couple, and Val, I'll show you this one. This is a made in Japan. It does have some crazing. I want you to be able to see if you can the crazing that's on the back. But it is a parrot with strawberries. It's a parrot like with strawberries. One. It's in great condition. Um, it has been used. They did have some things in there. And it has the three bumpers and the place to hang this. The wall pocket is going to be $10, number 27. Wall pocket is $10, number 27, if you're interested in that. Yes, Val. It's been a bird day, girl. It has been a bird day here. Okay? Yes. Yeah. Val. If I if I just started rattling off all the stuff that I've lived through this week, y'all would be like, Lord. Yeah, yes, that was ten dollars number twenty seven. I had the um five dollar choice of look some birds oh, salt bird. pepper in Japan. You know, poor Dana Grace. Uh, not is it Dana Grace? Yes, Dana Grace. She can't stand yeah. them. And then there was these big eyed pelicans. So five dollars oh, seven. Five dollars number five dollars choice for these birds or these birds. They're made in Japan, salt and pepper shakers. Um, this one it has a stopper inside. These do not have any stoppers. Um, they're five dollars each, number thirty-one. Five dollars, number thirty-one. I think these are cute. I love that. Five dollars number thirty-one. I think they're cute too. Yeah, Val got the wall pocket. Val likes the wall pocket. So so those so are, now, of course she's got a bird wall pocket so she, yes, and of course she's got a bird well of course um okay then i did have the I, let's break it up i'll show y'all a piece of jewelry that kind of looks like feathers to me but i had this beautiful piece of jewelry it is 12 dollars. it's a um 18 inch gold tone it has the link chains right here with a little bit of texture in that it has a well, it's almost like a brassy gold. It has a um, lobster claw clasp right here. It is 18 inches. These are the turquoise light, not turquoise, but like a sea, sea bluish green yeah. with the coral. And then these are like a light blue with the rhinestones. This is $12, number 22. $12, number 22. You're welcome, Val. Thank you. Um, and then I did have the choice of the three bracelets. I don't know if they're Bakelite. I don't know anything about them. I know that I'm calling them um, the heavier plastic bracelets. They are $5 each. Now, this one is a brownish color, and it's thick and tapered. 
This one is a red wide bangle, and then this one is a black regular size bangle. They're all about two and a half inches in diameter. So you can really tell. Hey, Catherine, thank you. You can tell that this one is brownish and this one is black. There is some scuffing on them because I didn't polish them up. I didn't. I just left them. Um, hey, Patty. And so these are $5 choice. Now, this one is a big, big honker. This one is a big honker and it's tapered. $5 choice number, um, I forgot. Hold, please. 21. $5 choice number 21. And I think that's it. Y'all have seen enough chickens, but I do have chickens. So if you're watching the replay yes. and you're interested, in anything that either Miss Pamela or I showed you. Um, I only have three chickens left. I want y'all to know. Just want y'all to know that. I'm, I'm very proud, proud of that. I'm, I'm proud, proud of you. Out of 40 something chickens. You, that was how many you bought in two days? Two or three. I can't be for certain. Miss Pamela, it was a busy day. It was a busy weekend. May I claim 22, please, Karen K said. May I 22 please? is the necklace. Hey, Heidi. Necklace for $12, right, Karen? Necklace for $12. It's a beautiful necklace. It is pretty. Very pretty. I love those colors okay. together. Hey, got it. Um, yes, it was a fed, it was, you know, wings, feathers, and all. Thank yeah. you, Karen. I got you for that. So I think that is it. But if you're watching the replay back, make sure to contact us at scprincess1 um, at comcast.net for me and oakgrovevintage at gmail.com for Miss Pamela. If you see something that we showed and you are interested, it's okay, Heidi. It's okay. You can't be, it's, it's almost midnight your time, I think. Yeah. It's late her time. I don't see how you can keep up with what's going on over here anyway. I, I Lord Jesus, no. Me either. I can't, uh -uh. I, I can't keep up with time. So, it's all I can do to keep up with Eastern and Pacific difference. You know, that's, that's a lot of math. And when you, <laughs> there's girl math, boy math, dog math, and now we got to do sale math. Yeah. Sale math. Yeah, that's what we got to do. Thank y'all all so much for coming and hanging out with Beth and me tonight. We appreciate it. And I appreciate you asking me. Nobody ever asked me hardly to be on a sale with them anymore. Me either, but I said, you know what? It's fine. I'll just ask them to come over. You know, some people are shy. Some people it ain't shy. me, but some people are. It's not me that's shy, but some people are. I know, but hi. I can imagine, baby. Yeah, because, and then um, she's doing, like, uh, Dolores will say, well, that's so-and-so a time British meat. I said, look, 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 between this whole thing of Eastern, then Central, then you got this mountain thing right here where Arizona does its own thing, and then you got, I, said, yeah. I can't, I, 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 I'm doing good, just get more on so thank y'all so much for joining us and uh, make sure to go on and we'll see you in the chats of other places. Make sure to say hey to us. And until next time, y'all stay Bye, pretty. Be sweet. That's Bye. Everybody. Thank you.